Well, well, my friends, look what I have here in the RC workstation. The new Traxxas M41 widebody uh, Catamaran, the DCB edition, the red edition that is. And this thing is pretty sweet. As you can see here on the station, it's actually fairly big, right about 40 inches long. And that's the actual size of the boat right there on the box. So it gives you a kind of good idea exactly how big this thing is. Now, it goes 50 plus miles an hour, runs on six cells, so you can either do two two cells or two three cell batteries on it. So yeah, uh, just turn the box to the side, just kind of give you a good general uh, view of it without, without tearing up anything. All right, so here on the side is the uh, all the information you need. Uh, the brushless castle setup, uh, removal electronic tray. It's got the TQ remote on it, so you can do the uh, TQ uh, Wi-Fi system on it, which is not included in the kit or in the boat. <laughs> uh, the cab ran 40 inches. It's got the all aluminum setup on the back. And uh, as you see, there's more stuff. And yeah, all right, so... Uh, I say let's go ahead and get the boat out the box and take a good look at it, all right? Well, here it is, my friends, outside the box. Look at it. This thing is big, humongous. Probably one of my biggest RC boats now. It was the... Uh, it was the Rescue 17 fire boat there at one time. That boat is about 38 inches long. This one is 40 inches. Look at it, my friends. Just an awesome looking boat. I really love catamarans. Something about catamarans I just really like. When I think of about a race boat, I'm thinking of catamarans because they're just such an awesome boat. Uh, very high performance machines. But look at this thing. Just really nice. Uh, it's made of ABS plastic. So very, you know, kind of durable, but also kind of, you know, fragile as well. Very lightweight. Check out these cool little scale interior here. We got seating for six people. If I can get my camera to focus. Ah, focus. <laughs> well, somewhat. As you can see, it's got the, uh, you know, seating. Uh, it's got some internal, uh, imps Inter <laughs> well, gauges in it, uh, as you can see there. Got a little steering wheel there. I gotta get some little guys to put in the, the boat here. A little more stickers here on the back. And uh, check out the prop system here on the back. All aluminum upgrades, or not upgrades, but aluminum. <laughs> Water cool pickup. Let's go ahead and take a look inside of the boat and talk about that. So, boom. And we'll pull it off. We'll set it to the side. Here's the inside of the boat. And get the thing to focus. There's the uh, Castle ESC uh, Marine, the VL6S. Uh, we got the uh, we got the brushless motor. Uh, I can't remember what, I think 540XL, I think it is. Um, Back here, we got our receiver, the uh, steering servo. There's the tubing for the water cool pickup, which goes through, comes through the ESC and the motor, and then shoots out the side here. Also, it's got adjustable battery trays. There's two of them, as you can see. I'll, uh, yeah, so you can adjust it from uh, if you're running in rough water, you kind of want to put it up here in the front. If you want to, you know, you're running in smoother water, kind of in the back, or you know, you can play around with that setting. To like you know, really get a sweet spot for your boat to run, but uh, yeah, really awesome. There's some foam in there, if you, some styrofoam, just to kind of keep the boat floating. If you do flip it over, which I'm hoping I don't flip this thing over. <laughs> uh, even the uh, top lid has styrofoam on it too. So yeah, all right. So that's the inside of the boat. Now let's talk about what comes with the boat here. Now, uh, all right. So, we'll, for, well, start off first with the TQ remote here. Uh, everybody knows this uh, remote. Uh, you can do the wireless uh, real-time feed on the uh, on this controller here because you can actually uh, you get the wireless setup and you can get the real-time data on the boat, knowing uh, how fast it's going, uh, the RPMs, battery, all that good stuff. I won't get into that much. <laughs> All right, so we have the uh, the manual book here uh, on the boat and the controller. Also, the batteries that you're supposed to use with it. Some other warranty information. 
Over here, we got some uh, marine grease, so uh, to grease up the uh, the uh, motor shafts and all. Uh, we got some tools here, some uh, wrenches, some Allen keys, uh, you know, some other tools to work on the boat with. Uh, also sends you a uh, kind of a setup for the uh, for the rear uh, shaft prop or. If I'm actually saying that right, I really don't know, but it's it's to help line up uh, the shaft and stuff. So you can do it different ways. It's like factory uh, strut right, strut height, <laughs> and stuff like that. I'll have to read up on that. I don't know too much about that pro that that area right there. All right, so we got uh, an extra prop and some Carter keys here for the uh, for the top lid here to you know secure it down. Now uh, the boat did not come with the batteries. You had to purchase those uh, separate. Uh, now it does have the uh, Traxxas new TQ or no uh, I, I, DI or ID uh, <laughs> connections on it. Trying to remember that stuff. You know? <laughs> but yeah, uh, actually right here it is. Yeah, the ID uh, uh, connections on it. Now you can actually still use the regular Traxxas plugs on the vehicle. It will work on it, so you don't have to go out and buy new batteries. But uh, Traxxas did come out with their new batteries, uh, the ID uh, batteries, which has the uh, uh, <laughs> it has your balancing port uh, built into the plug there. If you can see that, we'll try to get a uh, good view on it. Yeah, my camera does not want to get it, but it's all right. So yeah, um, yeah. So I ended up purchasing separate, some separate batteries here. So I got some uh, Venom 5000 milliamp 20C uh, three cell lipos with the multi plug on it. So that way I have uh, Dean's, Tamiya, Traxxas, and the banana clips or something like that. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be putting in the boat there uh, to run this thing and. I'm telling you, it's just a sweet little boat. I'm definitely going to have a lot of fun with that. You know, when I was looking to get another boat, I was like, I really want to get one that's going to be balls to the wall, a lot of fun. And uh, <laughs> so I saw this one. Now, to be honest with you guys, this is actually my first ever Traxxas vehicle. In the nine years that I've been into the RC hobby, I have never owned a Traxxas vehicle just because they're kind of like very very high on pricing and uh, it's like well you know if I'm gonna get one I want to get something that's gonna be I'm gonna be happy with something that's gonna be fast it's gonna be quick I'm gonna have a lot of fun with so I decided to go with this bad boy here and it just <laughs> looks extremely mean really loving it so yeah so though I guess the next thing to do is get this thing out and test it out run it a few times see how well it does so let's get to that part of the video
There you go, my friends. Thank you.